guys, kamusta? Julius Kim here. Welcome to the channel. And today, we are talking about an editing app called iMovie. The first thing you need is an iPhone. Mas maganda kung meron siyang 32GB of storage and above. But first, ito muna yung mga common issues ng mga videos natin na masasolve natin through editing. We can eliminate underexposed or yung madilim na kuha. Then, overexposed or sobra naman sa liwanag. Maybe nagkamali ka or ayaw mo lang talaga siyang isama sa video mo. Let's say may iPhone ka na. So, the next step is to go to the App Store and then download the app iMovie. After downloading the app, open it, create project, movie, and then choose the video file that you need, and then press create movie. And now, this is your timeline. Watch it first. This is the clip that you will edit. By the way, this clip is from the CEO of a company called JC Premier based in the Philippines. Let's watch first. This is our timeline. Yung unang step is click natin yung timeline. If you need additional information, meron siyang tips icon dito sa taas. Just click it. Yung unang step na ginagawa ko when editing is nilalagyan ko muna ng in and out points. So ganito yon. Go to the start of the clip. Click the timeline. And then adjust the front, yung unahan adjust mo siya pabalik makakat siya automatically as your starting point then kapag pinlay mo siya yun na yung magiging starting point mo again so ngayon may starting point na tayo kung gusto mo ng end point ganun din ang gagawin mo in reverse dun sa kabilang side so okay na tayo sa in and out points ang isunod naman natin is yung cutting Kung mapapansin nyo, nakalagay dito sa ilalim split, detach, duplicate, and delete. Click nyo yung split. And then, automatically, may slice yung timeline. So, ganun lang kadali ang pag-slice and paghati ng clip. Okay, another example. Adjust mo yung timeline. And then, click the timeline. And press split. Automatically, makakat yung timeline. Then, if you want to delete this part, just hit delete. Then, madi-delete na siya. Let's say, nagkamali ka, meron ding undo button. Click mo lang tong arrow na to for undo. Babalik na siya sa dati. Let's say, gusto mo namang ulitin yung part na to ng timeline. Just click mo lang yung duplicate and mag-duplicate na siya or madodoble na siya. Like what we did. Ganito magiging itsura pag pinlay natin. That's it for cutting. So, jump naman tayo sa iba. For the text, click nyo muna yung frame. And then, click nyo yung letter T sa baba ng timeline. And then, makakapili na kayo sa different versions ng style and effects. Let's say, pinili ko is pop-up. Click ko lang yung screen sa taas. And then, lalabas na yung text column. Erase nyo lang yung default text then pwede nyo nang i-type kahit anong gusto nyo now I will type JC Premier and then hit done and play makikita nyo pag in-adjust natin yung timeline and then let's play again it will appear so that's the pop up effect try naman tayo ng ibang effect let's say I choose um, prism again touch the screen Erase the default text and I will put, let's say, Jonathan So. Ayan, hit done and then play. Preview natin yung dalawang effect na ginawa natin, the pop-up and the prism effect. Let's say, masyadong mahaba yung text effect. Tapos, gusto mo, 3 to 4 seconds lang siyang lalabas. Pwede rin, hit mo lang yung scissor logo. And then, hit split, it will cut the frame automatically. So, the effect is makikita mo lang doon sa loob ng frame na yon na hinati mo. Ganito may itsura niya. You can put effects also on the same clip. 
click mo lang yung last icon sa ilalim ng timeline and then lalabas na yung mga effects black and white, blast, blockbuster ito yung mga options na pwede mong gamitin kung gusto mong maglagay ng effect sa mismong clip sa mismong video this time try natin yung black and white effect Let's say gusto mo naman lagyan ng picture or mag-insert ng picture sa timeline mo. Click mo lang yung plus sign and then makikita mo yung lahat ng options, moments, video, photos, albums, audio, and camera. Hit photos and then select at your gallery and then automatically babagsak siya sa timeline mo. Like ordinary video clips, pwede mo rin siyang i-adjust. Pwede ka rin maglagay ng in and out points. Pwede mo rin siyang i-cut, pwede mo rin siyang i-duplicate. Depende sa iyo kung anong style ang gusto mong gawin sa picture. Meron din tayo yung tinatawag natin na transitions. Which is, that is an effect in between clips katulad nito pwede tayo maglagay ng wipe transition and then after that pwede natin ilagay gano siya kahaba 0.5 or 1 second it will look like this so that's the transition wipe transition Again, we can put the slide transition, one second effect, that is the duration of the effect, let's play, sana makita natin yung effect nya. Text, black and white effect, wipe transition, and then slide transition. Diba ang galing? Then we hit done. Then we hit play. We have an option to edit again. To play it. And to save it. You can save it directly to your mobile. You can send it directly to your YouTube channel and you can share it also into your iCloud. Now, we will save it into our phone. Bibigyan niya tayo ng option. We hit HD or High Definition option para sa quality ng video and then exporting na yung video natin. Let's wait for it to finish exporting. Then, makikita na natin siya sa mismong gallery natin. Ayan, malapit na siya matapos. Hintayin lang natin. This time, malapit na siya matapos. Copy movie to photo library. The movie was exported to your photo library. Nasa gallery mo na siya. Hit OK. Main menu, go to your photo library. And then, undo na siya. You save your program, you save your first ever video edited on iMovie. Isn't that amazing? In the next video, ipakikita ko naman sa inyo kung paano maglagay ng sound, maglagay ng sound effects through your editing app iMovie para magamit mo sa pag-edit mo sa mga videos. So that's it for me guys. I hope may natutunan kayo. I hope may na-share akong value when it comes to editing using your iPhone. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're not yet already, and I see you guys next time. iPhone editing, peace!